Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are building an apothecary, another in a series of recent builds I was commissioned to create by a new server owner. As with the blacksmith, this build will be shown mod free in the construction, followed by the modded version in the furnishing phase so console folks can build this design too. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, I started off with of course the base plate. For this design, I used Namidian ceilings on the interior and Keton stone ceilings on the exterior. I built the base plate according to the blueprint you can see on screen now and I built it onto pillars so I could use the stair trick a little later on to place pillars in the corners. This build is meant to emulate a medieval townhouse and will eventually sit at a fairly tall three storeys high. Once I'd finished placing the pillars at the joints, I then placed the midian walls below the ceilings to enclose the base plate. Next for the ground floor walls. In keeping with the medieval townhouse theme, I used the midian walls with storm glass frames to create a storefront that can show the goods inside, whilst also remaining true to the theme. I built the walls two tiles high, and for the non modded design, I used the midian door frames to create windows around the ground floor, which I'll later place stable pillars into to create a nice split window design I've used before. Next for the first floor. I firstly placed down the ceilings to form the floor itself by just mirroring the tiles below, running a small staircase up at the back of the build. Once I'd finished the ceilings, I then built some more pillars up to encase the first floor, as I did with the ground floor. Next for the first floor walls. I chose to use Yamatai for the non-modded design as I think it best suits the medieval vibe. It's a combination I've used quite a bit before and it's a pretty solid option for medieval, though in the furnished modded build I'll be using the Bossonian set for a nice warmer wood. Another modded option is the tavern walls from the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod, they're pretty good, and another base game option would of course be insulated wood. I built the walls two tiles high, creating a balcony above the front door. Next for the second floor. I built up the stairs again in the same spot as the staircase below and then I placed down the ceilings. I reduced the overall area of the second floor slightly to allow for some extra depth in the roofing and I also added a hanging bay window section on the right side of this floor. I then placed the walls one tile high, adding pillars onto the walls once more. Once I'd finished the walls, I also placed roof gables onto each of the roof faces to prepare for, of course, the roof, which will be a simple, intersecting open gable design. I also placed gables on the lowered roof sections, each of which will also be open gable. There isn't much roof variety in this build, but the verticality and depth of each roof will help to alleviate any monotony. Finally, the roofing itself. I used Nemidian roof pieces, placing them down to follow the flow of the gables I had placed earlier. Nemidian works really nicely for this roof. It suits the medieval theme both on the interior and the exterior, and adds a nice bit of contrast to the design. I also used the stair trick once more to finish off the doorways I used across the build as windows. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build, this is on the same server as the blacksmith and the northern castle, and it's built using the Bossonian set from the northern timber mod. Entering the store, I've decorated thoroughly to create a detailed apothecary's workshop and storefront, replete with potions, books and storage. There's also a slight mix of Shemite and Elven themes within the apothecary, to give a bit of character and cultural reference to both the store and its owner.
The entrance to the rear section is located in an alleyway behind the store, and this is where the majority of potion mixing and brewing occurs. There's also excess stock for the shelves along with other brewing ingredients. Heading up to the first floor, there's a small private library containing plenty of books and research on the local area. This was initially going to be a bedroom, however the library idea was much better and suits the build nicely, especially with the attached balcony. Heading up to the second floor, these are the living quarters for the store owner. This includes a bed, a vanity area, a bath and a fireplace vented with a small chimney. This area is compact but feels very homely. This is definitely a simple but cosy place for an apothecary to live. And there we have it, an apothecary store in Conan Exiles. Thanks for watching, these recent commission builds have been really fun to undertake, and whilst I usually try my best to avoid modded structures nowadays so the console folks can enjoy it too, the challenge of working out how to decorate and approach certain builds like these have been really fun, hopefully including the non-modded version also helps the console players out. If you enjoy my content, all the links to my Twitch, Twitter, Discord, Patreon, Host Havoc affiliate page, NordVPN discount and NordPass discount are available in the description below. However, of course, you can simply just leave a like, a comment or subscribe, any of those are very greatly appreciated. Patrons get a bunch of nice benefits including sneak peeks of videos, your name in every video, custom made wallpapers in 1080p and 4k resolutions, full size build blueprints, discord roles and more. On that note, a massive thanks to our patrons Sadialot, Randar, Connor, Ivy, Torn, Ill-Fated, CoffeeMan04, Jacques, Marion Ladd, Ryan, Ben, Alfric, and Eagle Rose. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you soon.